You've made it to part 25, and at the end of this, we will be halfway through. We're learning about diodes now. Lots and lots of diodes. So this is the extra, extra study exam, element four. We're in sub-element six, bravo. And remember, you're only going to get one question from this. Uh, the test has 50 questions, and that is one question from each section. What is the most useful characteristic of a Zener diode? A constant voltage drop under conditions of varying current. So a Zener diode is operated reverse biased, and what it does is it is like a very simple voltage regulator. Which characteristic of a Schottky diode makes it a better choice than a silicon junction diode for use as a power supply rectifier? They have a lower forward voltage drop. So the Schottky diode looks like this. It's a symbol that looks like a square almost that is split and twisted. And the Schottky diode is metal with a tiny junction and then an n-type silicone. That is the Schottky diode. You need to remember this because you're going to see it again in a minute. But they have a lower forward voltage drop. What property of an LED semiconductor material determines its forward voltage drop? That is the band gap. And the band gap, if you look over here on wonderful Wikipedia, this is the band gap right here. So it's the forbidden band. But the larger that is, the higher the voltage drop across the LED is going to be. And then you can see the electrons, when forward bias, jump across to the holes, and they work themselves out and give off light. So that is the band gap is what determines the forward voltage drop of an LED. What type of semiconductor device is designed for use as a voltage controlled capacitor? Now, a lot of times these things are called varicaps, but they have chose varactor diode. But if you look up a varicap, this is how, uh, how it works. So the symbol looks almost like, it looks almost like a capacitor, doesn't it? So the way these work is, remember, a capacitor is two conductors separated by an insulator. Well, if you look at the picture, a lower bias voltage gives you a narrow depletion zone, higher capacitance, because there's less insulation. A uh, higher bias voltage has a wider depletion zone lower capacitance. So Varicap Varactor Diode. I don't even know I don't even know how to say that. Varactor. Varactor diode. So that is what is your voltage controlled capacitor. What characteristic of a pin diode makes it useful as an RF switch? And that is a low junction capacitance. And we have a pin diode right here. That's the circuit symbol. And pin diodes are just made a little different. But one of the advantages is they have a low junction capacitance. And when you're working with RF, if you have extra capacitance or extra inductance, then you start to see some weird effects. So that's why it's great as an RF switch. Radio frequency, so high frequency. Which of the following is a common use of a Schottky diode? And that is a VHF UHF, VHF UHF mixer or detector. So going back to the Schottky diode, it has a low voltage drop. So that makes it useful too, I suppose, as a mixer or a detector because you don't lose as much voltage across this guy. So that is your answer. A common use for the Schottky diode is a VHF, UHF mixer or detector. What causes a junction diode to fail from excessive heat or current? Sorry, red, red ahead. <laughs> what causes a junction diode to fail from excessive current? 
and that is excessive junction temperature. As the temperature goes up, it just cooks itself. Which of the following is a Schottky barrier diode? Now, if you go back and look, there's metal in the diode. So out of these answers, you get metal semiconductor junction. That is the only one that could be that Schottky barrier diode. What is a common use for point contact diodes? A point contact is used as an RF detector. And I have a point contact picture right here. You can see in inside of this clear glass envelope, you can see that it is a point contact. It's very, very small. And it is used as an RF detector. Here we go. Here's our picture. In figure 6, E62, which is the schematic symbol for a shot key diode. Remember, it's that square that's been split and twisted, and that is number six. Now, I do know number five is an LED. Number four is a regular diode, a rectifier diode. And number three is, a, it looks like it has a Z, that's Zener. Now, this one, that's a varicap. See, it looks kind of like a capacitor. Now, this one and this one and this one, sadly, I don't even know what those are because I've never used one. What is used to control the attenuation of RF signals by a pin diode? And that is the forward DC bias current. So in a pin diode, that's this guy, a pin diode is forward DC bias current is used to control the attenuation of RF signals. We've muddled through this one. This one is not the easier of the sections and I wish you the best. You're halfway through now. I'm Robbie W1RCP73. Good luck.